live in Casey County. We've been down here for 11 years now, and it's been absolutely beautiful. We've been outside for the first day. It's actually sun shining. We haven't had that in a long time either. But we welcome you to our farm anytime. You're welcome to stop by. Thank you. This is Janet and Richard Metz welcoming you to our farm and welcoming you to another episode of Springhouse Farm. Today we are um, building or uh, digging a electric line underground from our temporary electric box to our pump house. Yesterday we ended up meeting with the planning and zoning committee and we got a a hearing scheduled for December 17th to present our plan to the Madison County Planning and Zoning. And then we have a meeting on January 6th with the commissioners, the Board of Commissioners, again to approve. So at this point, in order to get temporary electric before December 17th, we had to prove that we're not gonna use it for the camper, as you can see, the camper. Um, so the nice lady says but if you have a um a shed or something that would potentially need electric the pump house so that one we have a place to store things when we're not here and two so we can get water um, turned on and going um, the video 
before this one we were um, we put the underground wire in ginger and I another one of them deals where I just got to stand around and watch her work um, but we're just putting a duplex in nothing fancy um, it is a temporary power pole but we're, we're wiring this part like it's going to be permanent so I like to make these up before I stick them in there uh, because of my hands work better. It's unencumbered by things, as most people. And it's just a little bit easier, that's all. There's a lot of stuff I don't have that I wish I had. Uh, when we left the house, we didn't plan on doing this. This was something that the like I said, this trip was supposed to be a paperwork trip and it turned into a work trip. Which is really good, actually. So, I know I got people out there like Rob Schultz right now probably yelling at the camera going, you're doing that wrong. Probably. I'm not an electrician, but I could play one on TV. The nice part about this is we can, as we video the the construction of this place, if we have any questions about what we did or where something's at, it'd be a lot easier to to go back through the videos and watch them. So it's just going to be a, just a standard outlet, double uh, two gang, double outlet box, nothing fancy. Um, we're going to put a waterproof cover on it. Does it need one in here? Not really, but you know, why not? I almost put that upside down. I'm not really sure why the ground goes down. But I guess if you have some sort of standardization with outlets, it helps, you know, people in the dark or I guess blind people. I don't know. Because blind people should be working on it, maybe. You never know. Well, they plug outlets in. This is true. An outlet kind of makes that face that people do when they find out Ginger's married to me. You know that, what? That's the look it is. Oh, fancy, this is. I've never used this style before. This is a newer one. I know you guys are hearing all them random sounds. That's the uh, um, the acorns are falling all around, and they're the acorns here are a little bit different than they are around us. Um, they're itty bitty. Yeah, they're tiny. They're like marble size. But it doesn't change the sound they make when they bounce off the ground. So. Mm. They look like blueberries. Can you see that? That's gonna work. Um, yeah. Look like little blueberries. Or this that looks like a buckeye. <laughs> <Can> you tell. <laughs> it's a 
peanut butter. Oh, Lord. I like the candy. Look. Doesn't it look like a little mini buckeye? Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh. So this, I guess technically this is the first electric work or we'll have done on our place. Um, sure ain't gonna be the last. But there's just that and then this super fancy plastic lid that goes over it. Extra duty. That don't even sound right, does it? Like a kid loaded his diaper too much. It's rough when you get old, let me tell you. And that's it, people. Mm. the logs to make benches right the small ones i don't think we could because when you cut this wood it's going to be full of sap well then we can't then we can maybe put a piece of wood on top of them yeah maybe like a hardwood so anyway we need to pick an aisle make sure it's an aisle we can stretch the string down to get an eyeball idea of where it's going to be but i want to leave the tall stuff for the canopy I don't want to take them all out. Instead of making like uniform lines, why don't we just take out the small stuff that's not a canopy for now? And see what it looks like after that. And then if it still doesn't fall in line, we'll cut some more. It's easy to cut more than it is to wish we hadn't cut them down. This side over here is way thicker than that one. Here radar.